Hi, MP Mark Warawa in Ottawa, doing a, a MP Minute here with um, Wei Young from Vancouver South, the hardworking MP. And uh, Wei, it's a real honor to be with you and doing an MP Minute. I've got a, a piece of copper with me, and uh, it's a very serious problem in Canada where we have people that are, mm -hmm. are stealing copper uh, and doing it in very dangerous ways. We've had a number of incidents in, in Langley, my riding, uh, where they're stealing the copper by stripping out, um, uh, taking down telephone poles and transformers, uh, and there's, uh, it's been very expensive and very dangerous what's happening. And uh, so it's a big problem, not in just in Langley and, and Vancouver South, it's right across the country. And I'm really excited that you're addressing this um, through a bill. Uh, I believe it's 639. Could you tell us about it? Well, Mark, I'm very honored to be a member of Parliament for Vancouver South. And as a member of Parliament, one of the great things that we get to do is present what's called a private member's bill. And so my private member's bill, 639, is to protect critical infrastructure. As you know, across Canada, communities have been experiencing a lot of copper theft, a lot of other kinds of thefts that have put communities as well as economies at risk. So this bill is to protect that those uh, uh, critical infrastructure that is being targeted, that is being deliberately uh, tampered with, and putting people as well as the economy at risk in various communities across Canada. So we do know that there are hundreds of millions of dollars that have been impacted as well as several deaths and so this is what we hope that this bill will accomplish is to protect those communities and to stop those deaths. So you said this is targeted, your bill is targeted on the critical infrastructure. What do you mean by critical infrastructure? Well, public safety has a definition for critical infrastructure, and what it defines critical infrastructure as being is uh, access, uh, you know, to... to uh, Electricity? Exactly. That, that would be one of them. Networks, systems, and even cyber hacking that's going to put uh, systems at risk. Okay. So that means uh, when they take down the, uh, the power lines in our communities, uh, electricity's out, it makes uh, intersections, uh, the lights are out for business, for hospitals, for business, um, right. for policing. It, it just makes it very, very dangerous and that's the, what you're talking about is critical infrastructure. Absolutely and not only is it dangerous because the electricity is out but in some cases what the copper wire does is it grounds the electricity. So what it does is when the copper is pulled out is it renders those sites sometimes live mm -hmm. with, with electricity. So we've had first responders actually die because when you enter into a zone that's electrified you can't see it. It's, it's hidden and so these are the, uh, the, the issues and some of the concerns that we've had and with those deaths across Canada and what this bill is uh, set to address. So, so Wei Young, uh, so often the courts will sentence this as a property crime if they steal copper, uh, but you're saying uh, when it's critical infrastructure, there should be a much more serious sentencing um, based on you're putting the communities at risk, is that right? That's correct, and two years ago when I came to the Hill and wanted to uh, research my private member's bill, I wanted it to be something that communities could use across Canada, but I also wanted it to be something that uh, would uh, sort of last throughout time. And so one of the things that we did with this bill is we uh, deliberately uh, looked at the fact that today it may be copper, but tomorrow it could be some other alloy uh, that's being used. And what we also wanted to do was uh, incorporate the fact that there's cyber hacking and different things things going on with bringing down systems. So th those are two factors. But in addition to that, I think that it was the intentionality, the fact that uh, criminals have in the intent to bring down this infrastructure, and so the bill is to meet that legislative gap between what is now mischief and terrorism, and in between, this is the intent to harm and the intent to bring down or, or to harm critical infrastructure. Well, would you appreciate people getting in touch with you, your office in Vancouver South, if they have any questions? Absolutely, because one of the things that we're trying to do is collect uh, case studies, incidents that have happened in your community. And so if you've had incidents in your community, we certainly want to hear from you. And that is wayyoung.ca. You can find us online. Well, Way, uh, our government is committed to making our community safer. And this is a way that I don't think a lot of people have thought about. So well done. <coughs> You Thank are hardworking, and our government uh, is getting it done, making all communities safer by your, your good work. So thank and you, Wei Young. And thank you, Mark, for seconding my bill, and I look forward to you uh, working with, it, uh, with you. Thanks so much, Wei. Thank you.